In this video, you will learn how to create a simple maintenance mode page using Beaver Builder, as well as how to put your website in maintenance mode using a simple plugin. We will start with a pre-built maintenance page layout like the example shown here and customize it with your branding and content. And finally, I will show you how to easily redirect all of your site's traffic to your new maintenance mode landing page. Let's head over to my WordPress demo site and I'll show you how. Before we begin, we will need to be sure that we have the Beaver Builder plugin installed and activated on our WordPress site. First, we will create a new maintenance mode page. Log in to your WordPress admin dashboard and go to Pages and click on Add New. Let's give your new page a title. I'm going to simply call this Maintenance Mode. Note that we will want to remove the default header and footer from our Maintenance Mode page because we only want to display the content area that we are going to design in the next step. In this example, we have the Beaver Builder theme installed and we can easily disable the header and footer. In the upper right hand corner, click on the settings icon. Next, make sure that you have the page attributes box selected and scroll down to template. Choose no header slash footer from the list. Go ahead and click save draft or publish to save your changes. Next, let's open up the Beaver Builder editor by clicking on the Launch Beaver Builder button. And the next step is to design our page layout. Here we can start with a pre-built maintenance landing page template. In the upper right hand corner, click on the plus button to open up the content panel. Next, click on templates. From the landing pages tab, scroll down and click on maintenance. This will automatically create a maintenance mode page design for you. From here, you can further customize the design with your content. If at any time you prefer to start from scratch, you can do that as well. Simply click on the plus button. From the templates tab, click on landing pages and choose blank. Click on OK to start with a blank page. I prefer to use a template that gives me a good starting point. It makes my design process go so much faster. For that reason, I am going to begin with the Beaver Builder template. From here, we will need to update the layout with our content. To change the background image, hover over the row and click on the row setting gear icon. Under the style tab, scroll down to background photo and click remove, and then select photo to choose a new background photo. Now we can go ahead and update the modules on the page by selecting each of them and replacing the content with our own. Or if you prefer, you can drag and drop any of the modules from the content panel onto the page. Once you have finished up, go ahead and click Done and Publish to save your changes. The last step is to send your site visitors to your new maintenance mode page. To do this, you can use a plugin such as Restricted Site Access to redirect your site traffic. Go to Plugins, Add New, and search for Restricted Site Access Plugin. Click on Install and Activate. This plugin adds settings to the WordPress admin panel. Go to Settings and click on Reading. For Site Visibility, choose to restrict site access to only logged in visitors. Next, choose how to handle restricted visitors. Here we want to show them a page. From the Restricted Notice page dropdown, select the page you want to show restricted visitors. In this example, I will select our new maintenance mode page and click on Save Changes. Note that you will want to log out from your WordPress dashboard to check to see that everything is working as expected. Once I've logged out, I will try to access our About page. You'll see that I'm redirected to our new maintenance mode page. And I think that looks really good. Thank you so much for watching. And of course, if you got any value out of this video, be sure to hit the like button and click to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out on our upcoming videos. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.